tempting. Does this meet your approval? This one. A most informed choice, pal. Yes, that's worthy of your attention. This will be useful. Certainly, pal. Done. A most wise decision. Take care, my friend. Take a look around. Ooh, that's a nice one. Looks good to me. All sales, fine. Can't go wrong with this. It's a deal. This one. I held that one just for you. Oh, I knew that one would catch your eye. Time to move.
If you hear any more great tunes on your travels, load them up in here. How you doing, Moran? Fine. Just enjoying some turgle-free time. Sounds like you miss having him around. <laughs> miss? Well, let's not get carried away. But he's the only one who attended my illuminating seminar on self-propagating business solutions. One thing you learn about business, a customer is a customer. Customer is Turgle. So you said you came here after a heist, huh? That's right. I was once the most infamous outlaw in the Outer Rim. Really? Oh, yeah. They call me the Prince of Pilfering, the Mayor of Misdemeanors, the Sultan of Stealth. If you're so notorious, how'd you get here undetected? I snuck into a shipping crate and lived in a aforementioned crate for a long time. A very long time. When Doma unpacked me, she thought I was trash. Good thing she didn't throw you out. Oh, but she did. We still laugh about it. Hiya. Come back later, yeah? Such a nerd. See you when I see you. Barkeep. You look tired. Take a load off. I sure am glad to see C returned unharmed. Were you worried for her? Dear boy, are you serious? Why, a droid of that caliber is a rare thing in this galaxy. Well, you gotta look after them when you find them. It was good to see you. When I took down the Mogu, it wasn't easy. Well, with the Mogu, it never is. They're relentless, even on the brink of death. Some beasts can be companions for ranch work. A Mogu definitely is not. Good doings, Cal. You're a heck of a hunter. Vile malls like that one you took out are trouble. They'll turn a room into a patio if you're not careful. I believe it. Reminds me of a pest I tangled a few years back. Nothing could get through its skin, neither. Here's the kicker, though. This creature had tentacles, too. Whew, don't remember the name of it, but it was mean. I wasn't having all kinds of trouble until I remembered something my mama used to say. If your weapon can't fell a beast, make the beast your weapon. So, I drop my spear, grab one of the beast's tentacles, and coil it around his throat until it was over. Smart. That's what your enemies do, ain't it? Turn your strengths into liabilities. Be seeing you. Who's the noddling with the stiff hat and brisk attitude? That's Cage Vanda. She's a bounty hunter. Or at least, she used to be. She's retired now. Mm. She doesn't look retired. No, she does not. But the Haxian Brood's after me, and she's got the intel on me. Haxian Brood? No, thank you. That gang does not mess around. Let's catch up later. Breeze, 
You should know. When my old crew worked from the Mantis, we made a few changes. Oh, you mean how the left side of the cabin couch completely has lost its bounce? Yeah, I noticed. Come on, the seat's got no give. Cushion just limps there, like a dead Neko. And that's from Liz. To psych herself up for a mission, she'd bounce on the couch as hard as she could. Now every time I sit on that broken cushion, it feels like Liz is still there. Well, I was planning to replace those cushions, but maybe that can wait. Watch yourself out there. from around here? Been all over Cobra, but I knew I had to foot slog it back to the reach when I heard the stories. They say it's been a right barnyard since you arrived. Word traveled that fast, huh? If it's privacy you're worried about, mate, don't be. No one listens to old heart. But stop by if you ever want to hear the latest yarns, eh? My eyes what they are, I couldn't hit a tree with a bolt, but I got ears like a fool of Hey, mate. There's room for more? Aye, but though it brings a tear to my eye, I fear we may be reaching capacity. Too many more, and old Scuba won't be able to wet his flippers without slapping the fishy. I'll see you out in the wide world, buddy. The hunt continues! Why'd you choose to study the High Republic? We'll talk soon. You know, Cap. How soon? Even if I... Not now, Cam. How may I serve? A strong choice, certainly. Discussing what we should renovate next. Just lots else to fix around here. Thanks to the Raiders, you know. Yes, of course, but surely we can find something a bit more inspiring for our next project than a water pump. I'm sure you'll figure it out. So, it looks like we aren't the only ones who found romance on Kobo. What, Turgul and Two Locked? I don't think that's in the stars. Come now, Carl. That delightfully dark Mervon has been casting wayward glances at you. Marin? What was the look? Hmm. She's a hard one to read. You, however, couldn't be more obvious. So, what are you waiting for? Good question. A lot going on right now. Okay. Don't get so caught up that you miss the small things. Because those are the things you'll remember. Zig's right, Cal. I spent most of my life ensnared by opulence. None of that seems very important now. Hey there. How do you like Pyloons? It is like an oasis. A dirty oasis. Tell Grease I said that and you will regret it, droid. Be careful.
smell? You smell what I'm smelling? My olfactory sensors can detect up to 400 distinct odors at once. You gotta be more specific. You know what really stinks? That added. Barkeep. Good to see you, Cal. Till next time, pal. We're getting quite the green thumb, huh, BD? Ah, I was hoping you'd find seeds like that. Put one in the ground. I'll share what I've learned. <laughs> a bluebell squish. How fascinating. Its flower has a most unusual... You found the jelly It. I see. We can talk later. And I'll tell you all about it. Let me see.
There he is, my favorite scrapper. You know any others? I do not. But together, we've taken on a few bucket heads. Don't forget the KX droids. How are we still alive? Let's catch up later. Watch yourself out there. Be careful. All right, so next.
ever get frustrated using that new arm? Are you kidding? I love this thing. I can chop vegetables twice as fast, and I can't burn myself. Plus, it's great for self-defense. Ah. You've been getting into fights? Well, no, but, you know, I could. If someone tried anything, you know, I'm ready. Ah, what do you know? You and that Nautilin are getting pretty chummy. Cage? More like a mutually beneficial business partnership. I don't trust her. I don't either. But the entire galaxy either wants me dead or strapped to an interrogation chair. Well, we don't want that. Let's catch up later. Watch yourself out there. Do you always hunt alone? Not always. For big game, I usually bring a partner or two. Strength in numbers. <laughs> That's right. In a pack, each hunter has their own role. Safer, too. We have a saying from where I'm from. A branch of a grill tree can be snapped in half, but a bundle of branches cannot. Talk soon. Talk later, buddy. What? I must be alone now. Hiya. See you around, cow. Enjoy the beats, Cal. Keep moving, buddy.
I see you brought the droid back. It wasn't as easy as we hoped it would be. Is it ever? Guess not. How'd you and Mosey get along? Quite well. She's going to take me hunting sometime. No, you'd scare our quarry away, BD. Ugh, so much beeping. Be careful. Once or twice. Winnie says I've got to go. What's it like? A lot of ships. A lot of people. Like one, the other. <laughs> and I adore both. You've never lived until you've danced the night away on a pleasure bus circling the Uskru district. I'd make the trip just to see that. Let's talk later. Uh, let's chat later. Talk soon. Kyle, buddy. You ain't been here long, have you? No, not long. Oh, me? I've been on Kobo for most of my life. Came all alone when I was a little sprout. Age of 12, if you can believe it. Really? All by yourself? That's right. Heard there was fortune to be had, as long as you ain't a lazy bones. And I jolly well ain't. Oi, Cal. Good to see you.
Welcome, welcome. Make yourself this smells good. That would be great grandma Pailoon's potato namba patty. How did she learn to cook so well? Oh, she had no choice. With eight children, 36 grandchildren, and two lost cats, she was cooking for a small army. I'm glad we can still enjoy your recipes. Me too. Grandma Pailoon's cooking lives on. But the lost cats, not so much. Watch yourself out there. When was the last time you talked to Kata? Oh, I sent her a quick message from Sears base. Don't worry, she okayed it. How's she doing? Not bad. I told her I was bringing her a gift. What's a gift? Still figuring that out. You, uh, think Grease's Latero Souffle would survive a hyperspace jaunt? Ah, uh, then I'd better look around. Let's catch up later. You hear there's a Garako stock around Dredder Gorge? Saw it myself. I took care of it. Ooh, nasty fella. Reminds me of a creature my sister and I hunted on Farana. Fast, strong, tore through everything in its path. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Lit a fire in me. Pushed myself as hard as I could. Guessing it was the same with you. Enjoying the crowd? I am. I do enjoy a crowded cantina after being out in the wild. Yeah, me too. Later, BD. Talk later, buddy. See you when I see you. Now is not the time to speak. There has to be a few more tunes out there for you to bring to me. See you around, Cal. Focus.